Good morning. I'm Eric Shockley, and I'm a graduating senior at SARE. Today is Mother's Day, so I want to start by saying thank you to my incredible mom for all you've done for me. My family joined Second in uh, January 2009 after moving to Lexington from the Atlanta area, and we have been coming to the 830 service on Sundays since then. I've always enjoyed coming to early church service with my family and typically going out for breakfast following the service. I'm naturally a quiet person, so when we first joined, I was hesitant to jump into many church activities. It was a new environment, but I knew that I should try to get more involved in some different church-related activities like youth group. Attending services every Sunday helped me learn about God's word and the church community, but I felt that I needed to get involved in more ways. I never attended youth group at my church in Georgia, but I decided that it was something that, that I wanted to be a part of here at Second. So in June 2012, my younger brother Craig and I decided to attend REACH on the youth group mission trip. This was my first big step in my getting more involved in the church activities surrounding Second and the youth group. Neither one of us knew anyone on the trip going into it, but after spending a week growing closer to God with the youth group and making a difference in the lives of those in the community we were helping, I started to feel a stronger sense of community with the church. Second has become a second home for me. I have, I have slowly started to attend more youth group activities over the last couple of years. We all have uncertain steps in life that we must take, but I've learned to understand that God is with us through all those steps and guiding us towards him and his word. The church family has been a big influence on my life ever since I moved to Lexington. This church has helped me grow spiritually over the last few years and has taught me many important lessons about God's word. Everyone at Second has always been welcoming to me ever since we first visited this church, which has helped turn it into another home for me. Everyone has treated me with kindness, which has helped make the transition of changing churches very easy. I have also made new friends from youth group along the way. For example, this past February, I became good friends with Elise Shanefeld while skiing on the slopes at Perfect North. Even though I hadn't skied in a really long time, and I was terrible at it, she kindly stayed with me throughout the day while I improved. I have met many amazing people in youth group at Burnhamwood and at Reach over the last couple of years. I, have all, I also have many great memories over that time period. For example, this past fall retreat at Burnhamwood, we decided to bake a s'more pizza at midnight the night before we left. I don't know if you've ever tried a s'more flavored pizza made of graham crackers, Hershey's chocolate, and marshmallows, but it tasted really gooey and rich, as you might expect. I would not have these great memories or known many of the friends I've made had I not gotten more involved. In addition to the good memories, Youth group provides a time throughout the week where I can forget about everything else going on in my daily life and just enjoy an hour or two with some friends. Even though I was uncertain about whether I should take that next step and go on the mission trip to reach back in 2012, I now realize that God had a plan that I did not understand at the time. He continues to lead me on a journey that is helping me grow spiritually. The lesson I have learned is to look for those uncertain steps in your life and put faith in God to lead you through them. Getting more involved with church activities at Second has been one of the best decisions I've made. I know that in the big picture of life, I still have many steps to go, but I also know that God will lead me on that journey every step of the way. Thank you.